Hello Guardians! I'm sure you're all very curious about what exactly Inetrian is. So today, I'm going to explain how to battle in Inetrian. This is very important information, so please stay tuned. As was mentioned in the last video, Inetrian is a dungeon where you can obtain a special material called Inetrian Ore. Inetrian Ore can be exchanged for utility tokens called Inetrium, which can be traded in the real world after linking to your Marblex wallet. You can enter Inetrian by tapping the menu button and then the Inetrian dungeon button at the bottom. As you can see, Inetrian is divided into three tiers. Be sure to check the Inetrian Ore acquisition status and entry requirements for each tier. Of course, the higher the tier, the more Inetrian Ore you can acquire, so it's better to aim for a higher tier. Please refer to the table below for more details. You can also check the entry requirements and PK status for each tier. For example, only guild members who have conquered Scad Floating Island or Scad Sky Isle in the Conquest Battle can enter Tier 1. And as you can see, your character needs to be at least level 190 to enter Inetrian. There are Inetrian Express products available that can help you level up quickly, so don't miss the opportunity to check those out as well. Have you tried Inetrian out yet? Earn Inetrian Ore by hunting monsters in Inetrian. Oh, one more thing. In order to obtain Inetrian Ore, you must have Radiance Protection. Radiance Protection is consumed every time you acquire Inetrian Ore, so it's very important to manage your Radiance Protection so it doesn't run out. You should also know that if your Radiance Protection amount reaches Step 2, you'll obtain more Inetrian Ore than at Step 1. You can get a Radiance Protection item in the shop that will keep you at Step 1 for 21 days. I hope it comes in useful. Last but not least, let's talk about the Territory Tax. The guild leaders whose guilds have conquered Scad Floating Island or Scad Sky Isle can set the tax rate for the Inetrian Dungeon. A portion of the Inetrian ore acquired in the dungeon each day will be sent to the guilds who conquered those territories. So that's everything you need to know about earning Inetrian ore. I hope you try it out for yourself soon. I'll be back next time with more useful tips. Alive X Earn. Survive and earn your rewards in the real world. Log into A3 right now and discover the future of blockchain gaming.